The rocketing popularity of the British National Party is reflected in the fact that the party's central office receives more than 100 enquiries every day and signs up more than 200 members every week, reports party chairman Nick Griffin. This is excellent news, considering that our main television broadcast dates have now also been confirmed, Mr. Gilletter, Mr. Griffin said that over the weeks to come from now until June 4, 29 million leaflets will go out. BNP billboards will go out all over the country, and newspaper adverts will plaster local newspapers nationwide. Based on current figures of feedback, which have seen more inquiries in the first four months of this year than all of last year put together, some 100,000 information packs have already been prepared for sending out after the national BNP leaflet hits the doormats. We are now into the final four weeks of the campaign, and D-Day 2009 fast approaches. Mr. Griffin wrote. Now is the time we must go into overdrive. We must raise our activity levels to maximum and dig deep till it hurts to fund the largest and most sophisticated campaign in nationalist history. I have some excellent news, so far this year we have had over 6,500 enquiries from the public. Last year we had around 5,000 enquiries in total. And that was including the enquiries from the London Assembly campaign. We have been receiving approximately 100 enquiries a day since November compared to around 10 a day this time last year. Right now this party is working nearly 24 hours a day, 7 days a week to ensure victory. Many of our key people are virtually exhausted, but love of our country and our way of life keeps us all energized and focused on the prize, winning on June 4. The British National Party Euro election campaign is by far the biggest campaign we have ever engaged in. Through the generosity and faith of people like yourself, we have managed to print and pay for 29 million full-color, glossy leaflets. We have also produced 100,000 A3 color posters, as well as 100,000 12-page brochures, ready to send to the people who will contact the party during the election campaign. We have also set up and paid for four party offices across the country to deal with the massive logistical challenges a campaign on this scale poses. In the north we have now opened a fully functioning design and print office, in the midlands we have a highly efficient distribution warehouse, in the south we have a new fully functioning political administration office and now we have just opened a professional, fully equipped BNP call center operation which is already proving to be more successful than we ever imagined, Mr. Griffin said. Making a renewed appeal for donations to cover the last of the expenses of this fantastic campaign, Mr. Griffin wrote. Have you thought of what will happen to this country, your family, and your loved ones if the British National Party doesn't win a seat on June 4? Our people, this island race, will be left to the mercy of the Eurocrats, PC fanatics and the multicultural extremists, all of whom have one goal in mind, the complete annihilation of all things British. The proud history of our people and nation will be eradicated bit by bit from history and our children will grow up in a sterile, politically correct inclusive society where everybody else's rights are protected. But if you're English, Welsh, Scots or Irish, forget it, you don't count. We are now second-class citizens in our own country. Our loved ones will increasingly become second-class citizens in their own land. Just look at how the indigenous people are treated right now. If we fail to win on June 4th the whole anti-British, multicultural nightmare will accelerate and become even more dangerous and powerful. If you think it's bad now, believe me we ain't seen nothing yet. I cannot and will not allow this to happen. We must pull out all the stops to ensure a British National Party victory on June 4. To do this I need you to stand shoulder to shoulder with me throughout our battle for Britain European election campaign. All of the party's advances have been orchestrated and implemented by top drawer industry experts at our behest. It is truly incredible. But through our people's generosity and faith in the party, we have been able to fast track this party into a position that I never thought possible. We are not there yet. We still have a little way to go. A few weeks ago I told you how much this campaign would cost, remember? A very scary £390,000. But incredibly we have raised nearly £300,000 in just a few weeks, all from ordinary decent people like you. It has been a truly humbling experience for me and all my staff to see pensioners, students, 
businessmen and everybody else giving so selflessly to help save this country from destruction. As long as I live I will never, ever forget the kindness of our people or their fighting spirit," he wrote. After years of disappointment, victory is in sight. However, as I said, we're not out of the woods yet. We still desperately need to raise that final amount of £90,000 to fight this campaign. I know it's still a lot of money to raise, but did you ever think we could have raised £300,000 in a few weeks? Well I did, I always knew when the time came our people would do their duty. Let us not forget, this is no ordinary political campaign, this is an epic battle between good and evil. A battle, the outcome of which will determine what kind of country we will leave behind for our children and grandchildren. I am constantly reminded of this when I look at my own children, and I'm sure you know what I mean. Your country needs you, this party needs you. Will you answer the call? Will you stand up and be counted? It really is now or never my friend and fellow British patriot. Will you come once more with me to the battlefront? Will you give all you can to free our nation from the traitor's iron grip? Will you once again sacrifice for your country and our people? I need you to be strong to win this fight. United we must pull together and push ourselves through the financial pain barrier to secure victory on June 4. Remember we are a small party. We are the informed people. A BNP victory on June 4 will lead to a massive awakening amongst the British public, which will ensure that our nation is pulled back from the brink of destruction. But to get to that point we must carry the burden alone. There is no multinational company or Marxist union boss ready to give us the £90,000 thank goodness. When I write to you please don't think I am writing to an anonymous member. I know you, we are of the same blood, race and nation. We both of us see exactly what has become of our once great land. We see how our history, culture and identity are being eroded so relentlessly. We see how our young people are being brainwashed and our elderly are left neglected and often forced to live in poverty and fear. Just imagine for a moment how Britain will look if we have a massive victory in the European elections, a new dawn will break for our people in the 40-year-long bleak winter of decline, mass immigration PC madness and Islamification will finally be confronted. Victory on June 4 will signal the beginning of the end for all those who have tried to destroy our country, and they know it. On a personal note, I was speaking at a regional event last week when I was approached by a middle-aged couple who told me how important a BNP victory was to them. This in itself is not unusual, but the intensity and sincerity of these two fine people unnerved me slightly. Then they told me why a BNP victory was so vital to them. They had just received from the MOD the belongings of their young son recently killed in Afghanistan. These grieving parents had lost the most precious thing in the world to them, their own flesh and blood, and their boy. Killed while proudly serving the country he loved so much. Typically, very few MPs have sons serving in any war zone. They don't mind sending our sons. But the cowards and liars won't send their own. Think of what countless generations of our forefathers sacrificed for this country. Now it's our turn to stand in the breach. Regardless of how we view this war, these parents stricken by the loss of their boy showed all the attributes that make us British. Grief-stricken yet composed, strong, proud and still willing to fight for this country. This encounter stirred my very soul and that night I gave them my solemn promise not to rest day or night until we have taken our country back. May God bless those parents and all who have suffered loss in the service of this country. I will never forget the look of determination and resolve in that mother's eyes. She gave her son for this country and for us. Naturally, she is emotionally battered and scarred, but her willingness to fight on has had an immense impact on me. I am more determined than ever to push this campaign on. To do this I need you to help me, to be as determined as her to fight tooth and nail to win our country back. Remember, right now the government is panicking about the rise of our party. Everybody and their dog is against us, dirty tricks, smear stories, fraud and intimidation, we have witnessed all of these things aimed at us over the last few weeks, and it will get worse, much worse. Our enemies have even brought more of the Obama campaigning team in to derail our election campaign, but nothing is working for them. 
Every day we grow stronger and stronger. 200 people per week are now joining the party. We are also dealing with nearly 1,000 enquiries every week that's up from 90 just a year ago. There is no doubt about it, the British National Party is on a monumental roll, but if any one of us stops pushing, the roll will falter and stop, so let us all give one mighty final push towards victory on June the 4th. That is why it is so very important to contribute to the Battle for Britain European election campaign with a gift of £20, £50, £100 or even £500 or £1,000. I am ready for this fight. Are you with me? The future of our children and our children's children depends on what we do now.